YouTube. Hey YouTube, it's your girl Javina Love back with another video. Welcome back, welcome back. How are you doing, my busy bees? Staying busy, I hope. Mm-hmm. Keeping it sexy? Always, darling. And you know what you are here for. The Makeup Revolution Nightmare for Christmas collab. What? Couldn't believe it. When I saw it, I was like, Am I going to be disappointed? Because I did watch Teresa's Dead a few years. Uh, I've been watching it in a while. But a few years worth of her Halloween reviews on. And any other bodies, you know, review on holiday collabs. And how they're all in poo poo. And I was like, but it's Nightmare for Christmas. If it came out of Hot Topic, it would either be Roots Cosmetics. Or it would be BH or... You know, it'd be something else that we, we know and don't know, but Revolution Makeup has been getting really good. Look at the color story. This is one out of four of the palettes. They have two double books. This is a double book, and they have two single books where you just get the single side like this. Right? Or like that. You know, you get a single side, or you get the double book of Jack or Sally, and I picked the double book because these greens are everything and so green with envy right now and I'm loving the shimmer it's got a great protective seal on it like a lot of plastic a lot of glue on it so let me wiggle this off of the colored side I'm gonna leave the neutral side the way it is because I want to use the colorful side and I was gonna do green because the green is everything but I'm gonna do blue because, you know, your girl got to do a wicked look, right? Because we're all a little wicked. So how are you doing, my busy bees? Are you excited for at-home Halloween party? I am. Totally. And then it's 15 days away from my middle child, my, my shorty's 16th birthday. So we're going to do some things, you know gonna do it because we do it you know and I love I love partying I party all the time <laughs> don't I look like I party all the time like I am such the life of the party <laughs> but now I'm gonna reach into this Bethlehem Beth I mean they got their names on here but your girl can't read nothing but Be be he mouth. It's a baby blue. Let's just do that. Right up all up in here. Cause I figured, why not? And it's a pretty blue. It's a pastelish baby blue, but using it as a base is gonna be great. Cause there's got they've got some super pretty blue shimmers in here. Not bad. You know, I own a lot of Makeup Revolution, though. I don't own any of their collabs or holidays. I own their basic, you know, Sunrise palettes or, you know, their Pride palette. So their formula is good. I'm not going to lie about that. And the price is right. You can get right now, I don't know if you're a local Ulta, but at my old local Ulta, which I told my son... And he was like, if you have to go get it, Mom, go get it. And I'm like, no, I don't have to go get it. Not at all. Not all of them. Just one. At my local um, store, when I was there yesterday doing the um, Hocus Pocus collab. And this, I had to order online and have it uh, pick up in store. Because this also sold out in 10 minutes. In store and online. Like, it was wow, super fast. And that's why I was like, I'm so glad at least I got the one I wanted before it said sold out. Because the other ones are really pretty too. It's just, they're not as rich as these colors are to me. And even though this is like a little light blue green on me, honestly, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. So, let's go into this dead of night which is like this super rich shimmery blue and it's dark 
and see if we can, what we can do with that. I'm kind of using the wrong blush, the wrong brush, not the wrong blush, the wrong brush due to the fact that it's only picking up, I can see it in the pan, like not picking up a whole lot, and there's no fallout or kickback in the shimmers. There's a little bit of kickback in the pan with the matte, but not with the shimmers. But back to what I was saying, in my store, the color books are $10, when they're still $22 and $20 on either Ulta's website or on Makeup Revolution's website. So check your local Ulta, because that was something I thought, maybe they did that for everybody yesterday who may not have gotten anything from the two collections, or maybe they just did not see them. You know, some people just don't see it. But the reason I did it with this brush too is because I wanted to see how it was gonna blend out. And it, it, as you see, it is freaking me out, amazing. That is totally freaking me out amazing right there. Because it's not like my mama's, you know, my mama's girl. My mama said, you don't always have to do it so dark. You don't always have to have all the pigment, all the color on your eye. You could do a wash of color. You know, show the ladies you do have. You can still make a wash of color sexy. And I was like, okay, mom. So what do y'all think? A wash of color looks much better? Or do you think... Instagram, bam, looks better, you know, for a demo. Because with this, this is just a, that's the one thing with Makeup Revolution, it is a lot of blending. It isn't that it's not a bad thing, and plus you don't see any fallout on my face. And you've seen how I've been just like blending furiously, and it's blending out beautifully. I just was trying to keep it isolated on the sides just to make my eyes more caddish okay now they have Jack's house which is a another shimmer but a little bit more glitter than shimmer and it looks like a gray black brown but I can't really see it definitely the wrong brush for that so let's let's do our finger you know cuz oh yeah with fingers around here that is gorgeous. Ooh wee. I love that black. It's a it's black, silver, and something else. And it builds up really nice with the finger. And it's blending out good with the finger. I'm sliding that into the blue. Just a little bit. Keep it right in the center. She always tells me that too. You know, you don't have to wear the whole palette on your eye. That's where I got the one color. Because back in the day, you know, when your mama wouldn't let you wear makeup, she would hand off, my mother would hand off one single eyeshadow. And that would be it. And I would always pick a burgundy or a really, really rich pink. That way it would be used as my blush and as my lips. Because she wouldn't allow me to wear makeup, you know, any other way your grandma says so. Ooh, look at that. That is called mischief. That is a color right there. That is definitely the blue moment I would be, I'm looking for. Ooh-wee. I'm blending it into that gray black that we put on just so that there's still ingredients but there's still a and I'm still washing the color on you guys I'm doing this for you I'm not doing a heavy 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 amount of color it's literally just a wash and so this is pretty pigmented and I love it if I can get a, the Sally one I would probably never open it because it's just too pretty but this one, I know I would get some use out of it. So I'm not wasteful makeup -y. Mm, 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 mm. That blue. Now we're going to go into Sally. Sally. 
warms for it. Did you put that in my drink? In my soup? Sally. You're not showing up on the eye. There we go. She's a pretty wash of color. She's not beaming at all. She's just... Even though she looks like it would be beaming on my finger. It's maybe one of those... Uh, should be used wet, I think, because she's not showing up the way an Oprah highlight would. You know, I, ju I, I judge everything to an Oprah highlight. So if you've never used one, you won't know what I'm talking about. But if you've ever used one, you'll be like, oh yeah, I see what she's talking about. You want that beaming highlight in the inner corner, but this isn't the inner corner. This is just the first one fourth of the eye. So Sally is doing just fine for that. Right? I think so. Now I do have some fallout. I don't know which color did it, but I think it was Sally. So we're going to just brush that away. Don't worry, I'm going to re I'm not going to just offer first use, give you too many recommendations, but you can see the fallout like it's real right here where I am blue and shimmering. So that's a bad thing. Pink and Harry started bringing these back, made them popular again. These little sponges are really good for this, you know. It's a soft sponge to put on powder makeup to tap, tap, tap it in. Or you can use it to clean up like I'm doing right here. I'm just using some Laura Mercier setting powder to brighten that up and take out as much color as I can before I brush it away. There we go. Cleanup is gone. It's much better now. I'm happier now. So, oh, no, it was dead of night that was the, the culprit. Because I just blew that away. And, of course, you know, your girl is so, so purple. I'm going to go into this madness color, which is the purple. And spray that and put that under my eye. That is madness for real. See, I'm lost. Like, do I need a color book? Do I need a block of one color? Or do I just want it? I'm still indecisive on it. You know, I've never owned anything just of solid color except for a few uh, Morphe palettes. And even, and then I don't use them. So I'm kind of like, hmm, did you buy them for YouTube? Did you buy them for you? Or did you buy them just to be buying them? So you don't waste full makeup. And I'm honestly just like, I bought the Morphe ones. I'm not going to lie to you guys because, you know, you're my friends, you're my family. I bought the Morphe ones because they came with the mystery box. <laughs> That's it. I touched them. To, you know, do swatches on my channel in review. I need to do a revisiting of it because it just isn't exactly been in my um, everyday mind to keep using it. So that's why I'm like, I don't think I need the color books from Makeup Revolution. That is the only why I keep saying that to myself. I think if I say it enough, I will convince myself that I don't need them and I won't get them. But then watch, I won't get them. And then the price goes back, just like James Charles. I literally had to ask one of, uh, I asked another YouTuber that I watch because I adore him. He's a, a, a rocker 
uh, YouTuber, not really, not, not a rocker YouTuber, but he's a rocker at heart, and he loves the old 80s flicks, so he does that, um, as far as his long blonde hair, and he does makeup tutorials and demos of makeup on Instagram and his YouTube channel, so with that in mind, I asked him about the James Charles palette, should I buy it? And because he did the large and the small one, just like Manny did, and said the large one had the best, you know, formula. You can totally tell that the little one had a different formula. And I'm going to use an opal highlight to do my highlight of my eyes while I'm, while I'm just chit chatting with you and I'm finishing up the eyes. Um, I told him I can get it for $20 on sale, 50% off right now, because it's $39 for that palette. He said, You better get that palette. You need that in your life uh, for twenty dollars. He's like, if you're paying full price for it, I still would say for the large one. But as far as the large one at fifty percent off, you should get it. And so I was like, before he even finished, we finished our conversation on Instagram. I was already adding it to my cart, and I was like, yeah, I totally deserve this. I totally need it. And look at that. Now, Sally does not compete with an Oprah highlight, and this is in Star Island, which has got a 